All right, everyone, we do want to go to some breaking news right here. Michael Avenetti uh, convicted of stealing $300,000 from Stormy Daniels. The attorney turned a criminal. Michael Avenetti was convicted uh, today of swiping nearly $300,000 in book advance money from his then client, Stormy Daniels. Uh, the now twice convicted felon and one time rising star now faces a maximum of 22 years in prison for his conviction on wire fraud and aggravated identity theft charges. A sentencing date has not yet been set. Throughout the trial, prosecutors painted Avenetti as a calculating thief who stole two book advance payments from Daniels back in 2018 that totaled nearly $300,000 there. Stormy Daniels added that Avenatti had promised her that he would, quote, take, never take a penny from me for the book. Prosecutors showed jurors documents related to the book deal, as well as a series of text messages between Avenatti and Daniels, which proved how he repeatedly lied to his client about the money. When she didn't receive the payments on time, Daniels asked Avenatti about the missing cash according to the text messages. I did not get paid today. I am not and happy, she said in one of the messages about a month after she was due to receive her second payment in 2018. The publisher owes me a payment. This is BS, she wrote in another. Instead of coming clean about the theft, Avenatti told her that he would, quote, figure it out what happened, even though he had already received and spent the money. In their closing argument, prosecutors pointed to a, quote, mountain of evidence against Avenatti, who then argued uh, betrayed the trust of his client. The defendant was a lawyer who stole from his own client. She thought she, he was her, her advocate, but he betrayed her, and he told lies to cover it all up. That's what prosecutor Robert Sobelman said. He stole from her. He lied to her. And over and over again, the prosecutor said, all to steal and spend money that was not his. The defendant is guilty. Avenetti, who represented himself at the trial, maintained his innocence and suggested to the jury in closing arguments that Daniels owes him money because of the amount of work that he and his law firm did on her behalf. He also claimed a prosecutor's a uh, case against him was full of holes and likened it to a meal that has a cockroach in the middle of the plate. During the trial, Avenetti attempted to undermine Daniel's credibility by quizzing her about a number of statements she made about him being sexually assaulted in prison and her belief in the paranormal. In 2020, Avenatti was convicted in the same federal court of trying to shake down sportswear giant Nike for $25 million. He was sentenced to two and a half years in prison in that case. At his sentencing, he told the judge he betrayed himself and his friends while sparing, while sparring with the former president and his supporters. I lost my way, he said. I betrayed my own values, friends, family, and myself. I was driven by things that do matter in life television and twitter mean nothing he added there so that is the update there michael Avenetti found guilty on those two charges in the fraud trial you're watching live now from fox everybody we are going to take a quick two-minute break stay right here with us